Cool. So now we can go ahead and add that. Um, let's go ahead and make that thing, which is yes, you guys, that is also just a cylinder. So we can grab this guy, duplicate it, rotate it. Actually, we don't need to rotate it. We go here to X, type zero to rotate it up. Okay. Scale that. Rot Actually, scale this first. Okay, rotate it. A bit like that. There we go. Let's move this guy here. Okay. I'm going to edit mesh insert edge loop tool. Put one here, one here, one there, and one right there. Press Q. Let's go to face mode. I'm going to select these guys. Okay, and now I'm going to edit mesh transform component and I'm going to use the blue arrow. Scale this guy down like that. Yep, that's looking good, I think. There we go. Okay, so we got that guy going there. Let's go to vertex. Oops. I noticed that in the perspective picture looks like the top it's a bit larger I'm going to scale that but there okay cool sweet so now we have that guy and you know if we want to start seeing this guy next to the uh, model that we made the body and look at it this way and we can see it's starting to starting to look like what we we're looking for. Still looking a bit blocky, but I mean we can come back and shape it just a bit more so that it doesn't look this blocky. Anyway, we only need to make one leg. Uh, all the other ones are exactly the same, so we need to be making more. One thing we're missing here is the that cable. So the easiest way to make that guy is. Uh, we can use uh, a cylinder for that. That shouldn't be a problem. But let's go. I, I want to show you uh, another way to do it. Let's go ahead and go to create a CV curve tool. And click, click. Basically, you're creating a curve. Press enter, and you're done. So that's right there. And now. I'm going to create uh, this time I'm creating a NURBS primitive and I'm creating a circle which is right there press R, I'm going to scale this guy a bit and now I'm going to select the circle and the curve I'm going to switch from polygons to surfaces and go to surfaces extrude okay and as you can see we get a uh, geo where our curve was. Now I'm coming to the channel box and I'll change a few things here. I go to desolation, where it says format, I'll change that to. Let's see. I could general is fine. Set my UV number to 4 maybe. Maybe 5. And my UVs to let's press eight. I think that's fine. And now where's my circle? Looking for my circle here. And I'll press R to scale this guy. As you can see, it scales my curve there. So if I get scale in this guy, eventually I get the size that I'm looking for, which was that. And there we have it. We have a cable down there. Okay, so let's go ahead and say that our leg is done for now. Uh, even though we can still do a few things to make it look a bit better. But I think we can come back to that later. 
we should be moving on to other things. So let's go ahead and make the uh, what I'll call the head of this guy. So let's use that uh, cylinder that we made earlier. I'll move this guy up here. Go to vertex. Like that. And what I'll do is I'll insert an edge loop. Let's go back to polygons. Edit mesh. Insert edge loop 2. One right here. One right there. So that corresponds to that, 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 and one right here. Okay. Little edge, double click, press R to scale. Let's go to vertex. Scale this guy a bit inside. I'm going to add another edge loop. Right here, press R to scale. I'll add another one right here, press R to scale. Go to vertex, stab it down like that. Okay, I think that's looking good right there. Yeah, I think that should work. Okay, so we have our head. 